Yeah, so this is my bedroom. Does it look like how you imagined it? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's super girly. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so silly. Come here. Do you want something to eat or to drink? Mm, I don't know, I have water and carrots and celery. I know, I'm sorry, it's just the middle of the season, so I have to stay as fit as possible. But I promise, once the season's over, you can take me out to eat all the hamburgers and french fries and milkshakes my heart desires. <laughs> okay, one glass of water coming up. Try not to break anything while I'm gone. I can't believe he's in my room right now. Okay, try not to freak out. He's gonna be able to tell if you're nervous. Just relax. Here's your glass of water. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> Looking at my trophies and medals? Did you break something? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Well, that one was for a dance competition I won when I was ten. <laughs> I, I did a jazz solo. <laughs> yeah, first place. And that one was for winning second in a gymnastics tournament when I was twelve. And that one was for volleyball. <laughs> yep, you're looking at the MVP of a girls' middle school volleyball team. You may now bow down to my greatness. Yeah, I used to play a lot of sports growing up. <laughs> Why'd I stop? I don't know. And I lost interest, I guess. Why'd I start cheerleading? Honestly, I'm not really sure why. My sister was a cheerleader in high school, and I looked up to her, like, a lot. So I decided that maybe I should try it too. She always looked like she was having a really good time. And now, here I am. Been on the team since freshman year, and looking to become captain. Well, I'm only the second captain right now. I'm like a vice president. Almost there, but not quite. Why are you so interested in my past, hmm? You think I'm hiding something? Oh, if I were hiding something, you'd know. Yeah, sure, you can ask me anything. What's up? Why don't I ever talk to you in school? What are you talking about? I say hi to you whenever we see each other in class or in the hallway all the time. Okay, okay, I know what you mean. I already told you, it's just... complicated. I just have to pretend to like being around them so I can be chosen to be captain next year. They're all just very judgmental, okay? If I all of a sudden started hanging out with you, they wouldn't see me as one of them anymore. They'll think I'm not good enough for them. No, wait, that, that came out wrong. I didn't mean you're not good enough. I just meant... It's not about you. It's really not. It's only for a couple more months, and then the school year's gonna be over. And then we'll be seniors... I'll be head captain, and I can do whatever I want without anyone's judgment. You know that I really like you, right? I just don't want you to ever question my feelings for you. Just... Wait a little bit longer. For me. Thanks for understanding. You're the best. Hey, you know what? Do you want to be my date to a party tomorrow night? Oh, come on. I really don't want to go by myself. Because his parties are always so boring. Trust me. You'll have fun. And I'll be there, so you'll definitely have fun. 
Oh, please, I'd much rather hang out with you than the other girls who just want to talk about the latest episode of The Bachelor. I just pretend to watch the show. So, is that a yes? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, meet me here at 10 tomorrow, and we can drive over. Okay, time to do some homework. Yes, homework. Come on, don't be lazy. Would you rather do it over the weekend when you're hungover? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, just because I'm a cheerleader doesn't mean I get to skate by. I have to keep my grades up to be on the squad, and captains are held to even higher standards. Okay, come on. These textbooks aren't going to open themselves. Coming! Hi, 10 o'clock. Look who's right on time. Are you ready to go? Is everything okay? Oh no, it's too much, isn't it? You know we still have time. I can go change really quick. It'll only take five minutes and... Oh, thank you. I know you can't really tell, but I am blushing super hard right now. And you don't look too bad yourself. (laughs) <laughs> okay, let's go. No, it's okay, I can drive. Yeah, it's really no big deal. I know where his house is anyways. You just sit back and relax, and we'll be there soon. Yep, that's his house. I know, right? It's been three years and I still haven't gotten used to it. I think his parents own a hell of a lot of real estate abroad or something. Which means they're always traveling, and he basically gets to throw these ragers whenever he wants. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you. This is his legendary season kickoff party. (laughs) Don't ask me why that's a thing, I really don't know. But besides the end of season party, this is the one everyone comes to. Hence why there's absolutely nowhere to park on the street. I know, you'd think with all the money he has, he'd spring for valet or something. (laughs) Guess we'll just have to park all the way down here. (laughs) Ready to go into the war zone? Okay, okay, it's not going to be that bad, I promise. We'll just stay an hour, two tops, and then we'll dip. Um, we don't have to hold hands. It's okay. Yeah, I know. It's insane, right? Let's go get some drinks. What's your poison? Okay. Good choice. Well, as good as we can get here anyway. Here's one for you. And one for me. Cheers. And here comes trouble. Well, well, well. Look at this side of the show tonight. Hey. Well, you sure look happy to see me. Oh, you know, it's always a pleasure. Guess you couldn't resist another one of my legendary parties, huh? Well, it wasn't me you couldn't resist. Yeah, you're right. I just couldn't help myself. No, I've been looking for you all night. I guess you've just been held up in the corner all by yourself. Yeah, just trying to keep it low-key. Speaking of low-key, you've been totally MIA lately. I wasn't even sure you'd show up tonight. Yeah, well, here I am, in the flesh. Where have you been? Where I've been is none of your business. I have a life, you know, unlike some people. Oh, you ruined me. Don't you have somewhere else to be right now? Oh, come on. You know, I had to come over and say hi to the girl who's next in line to become head cheer captain. And besides, you remember last year's kickoff party? Oh my gosh. You swore you'd never bring that up again. Yeah, I'm just saying that was pretty iconic. No, it was pretty embarrassing. You know, I think I saw one of your little friends around here somewhere. I can go get her if you guys want to. Forget it. Not gonna happen. (laughs) It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. And uh, who do we have here? 
Hey, man. I don't think we've met. He's just a friend I brought tonight. We have the same biology class. Don't worry. He's cool. Okay, well, you say he's cool, then I believe you. Have fun. Thanks for the party tonight. Dude, put that down right now. That's my mom's only good vase. Oh, don't worry about him. He's completely harmless. He's just super protective of us girls. He's like a big brother to a lot of us on the squad. Yeah, but with a couple exceptions, I still can't stand being around them anymore. You know what? You want to get out of here? Okay, let's go. Hey, girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading out. I know, I just got here, but I'll see you on Monday, yeah? Thank God we're out of there. What? No, I, I wasn't in a rush to leave because I didn't want to be seen with you. If I really didn't want to be seen with you, I wouldn't have invited you tonight. I don't know why I told him you were my friend. I was just caught off guard and it kind of slipped out. Wait, please don't go. You can't walk all the way home, it's too late. Just... Can I take you somewhere? Please. Okay, we're here. Come on. I come here all the time. Just to think. I actually haven't been here in a while. Oh, you so kindly let me crash your rooftop, so I thought I'd show you my spot. So, after you left yesterday, I thought a lot about what you said. About me hesitating to take our relationship public at school. And I decided I don't care what they think anymore. I don't care what anyone thinks. So what if you're not a part of their stupid little circle? I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. Yeah, I know I said it's only for a couple more months, but honestly, that seems like forever. I know you probably don't think so, but this has been hurting me too. You know how hard it is to not just grab your face and kiss you good morning in the hallway? Or how I have to hold back? When our teacher says to pair up for labs in class, and all I want to do is spend the one class we have together by your side. Or how frustrating it is at lunch to see you with your friends having a good time while I feel like I'm stuck in an endless loop of the same boring conversations. And all I want to do is sit with you and talk with you and hold your hand. You can stop me at any time because I could go on forever. But my point is... I'm done doing this. I'm done keeping the two most important things in my life separate. You're a part of my life now, and it hasn't been fair to you to shut you out like that. No, forget being captain. If she doesn't pick me just because we're together, then I'm not even sure that's a team I want to be a part of anymore. But there's one thing I am sure of. I want to be with you. I like being around you and spending time with you and literally talking about anything with you. And I know we've been going out for a month now and you can say if you think it's too soon, but do you want to be my boyfriend? Maybe? I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never actually asked anyone to be my boyfriend before. You can say no if you want to. It's no pressure.
And I'd love to be your girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? That rain came out of nowhere. You want to stay? <laughs> We're going to get soaking wet. What do you mean that's the point? What is wrong with you? Okay, okay, I guess we can swing for a little longer. So, my car's been acting up lately, and I don't think it's fit to drive me to school on Monday. I know, what a shame. <laughs> Do you know someone who can pick me up in the morning? Yes, I want you to drive me to school. I want everyone to see me getting out of your car, holding your hand, kissing your lips. I can't wait. Wow, I've never actually been this excited to go to school before. <laughs> okay, let's go before we both catch a cold. Am I going to tell you what happened at the party last year? Well, I guess since you're my boyfriend, now you get special boyfriend privileges. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Okay, so my friend and I got super drunk, and some idiot roped us into a game of truth or dare. And it got a little bit out of hand, so me and my friend got dared.